I do sometimes bog down or overwhelmed with all the details of worship theology. Well, today I'm going to simplify that for you, so stick around. Hey, welcome to Wednesday Worship Workshops with Wayne W. My name is Wayne W. Um, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about the three C's of worship theology. You know, we had Jesse on a few weeks ago, and he talked about the three C's of approaching the stage. Very helpful advice from him. You can go check out that video. But today we're going to talk about the three C's of worship theology. Those are the Red Sea, the Dead Sea, and the Med Sea. Um, now we spell C differently because we're spelling it S-E-A this time. I think that's how you spell it at least. Um, so those three C's can encompass everything you need to think about when it comes to worship theology. First of all, the Red Sea. As you may know, the Red Sea was parted for Moses to cross. Um, and, and worship theology, we need to know that our God is a God of miracles, that our God is a big God. Um, our worship is to praise Him and give glory to Him for the good things that He has done. He provided a way for the children of Israel to cross on dry land. Um, our God does amazing things um, and we worship an amazing God. So the Red Sea, God does amazing miracles and we worship Him because of that. Um, the Red Sea, let's see what was next, the Dead Sea. Um, as you might know, the Dead Sea is fairly stagnant and we don't want to be that way. Um, as worship leaders, we can spend a lot of time seeking God, but we need to let that flow through us. We need to not be like the Dead Sea. We need to seek God personally in times of worship and be able to let um, that flow through us as we lead others in worship, not being like the Dead Sea. And lastly, the Med Sea, the Mediterranean. Maybe you know that Paul, the apostle, um, he went on missionary journeys and he took boats. His boats oftentimes went in the Mediterranean Sea. Um, worship isn't just for us, isn't just for our congregation, it isn't just singing, but worship is in how we live, and that should include sharing God's love with those around us. Um, whether we purposely are going on mission trips or just sharing Christ's love with our neighbors and those that we meet at the Walmart or the Winco or whatever shopping facility you have in your general area. But we need to take God's love um, as an act of worship. We take God's love to those around us. So the three C's of worship theology, the Red Sea, praising God because He's an amazing God, the Dead Sea, don't be like the Dead Sea, seek God, but then let that flow through you um, as you lead your congregation in worship, and the Med Sea, taking the love of God to those around us. Thank you for taking a minute to check out Wednesday Worship Workshops. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.